Hello everyone, I represent Olabam's Creations. My name is Oyeni Esther Olabamiji, and on this channel, we we'll bring you different educative content, DIY, sewing lessons, and uh, recipes. Today, I want to show you how to prepare a fruity zobo drink. We have a pineapple, we have a zobo leaf which is equally called the hibiscus leaf look at this big cucumber we'll be using it and our cut out watermelon we'll be making use of our sieve as well and a blender later here is my zobo leaf i've picked out the dirt if i have all pineapple i will wash it very well and i will add the peeling to the zobo leaf and boil everything together but since I don't have a whole pineapple, I'll make do with what I have. I'll be rinsing my zobo leaf, at least to rinse the dust away. Let me just try to sieve the zobo and I'll be back to show you. Look at it. I'm done washing and I still have some some small small sand underneath it can you see i have some sand underneath it which i wouldn't want to put inside my soap i will add enough water to cover the rinsed zobo i will add my washed and uh, cut ginger then i will bring it to boil so while our zobo is boiling let's see how to prepare our fruit I'm going to be blending my fruits. My cucumber is already washed. I'm cutting it up. To ease the work for my blender, I'm going to be adding a little water and I will. Here am I cutting my watermelon into my blender. If you don't have a blender, nothing spoil. Just grate your fruit and use your sieve or your cheesecloth to sieve it. I'm trying to get out my juice using my sieve. I later discovered that my sieve was a bit too slow. So what I did was to pour the uh, fruits, the leftover fruit into my already washed cheesecloth. And I tried the very best I can to squeeze out all the juice. And guess what I'm going to do even with the sieved fruit i'm going to be pouring it inside the boiling zobo i want to get everything from this you see the zobo is boiling so i will allow it to boil very well so this is not just an ordinary zobo drink but a zobo with a difference and if you want to make it for large scale why not we are at your service i want it to boil for like 30 minutes so that i can get the whole extract and then we come back this is after about eight to ten hours azobo has cooled down and what we are going to do now is to strain it using a cheese cloth mind you the extracted fruit trees are chilling in the freezer after sieving with a cheesecloth i added my ice block i didn't know my camera stopped so i'm sorry about that we are going to be adding some of these flavored drinks like orange mango pineapple and different types just do it according to your preference actually mango is one of the things i'm supposed to add to my fresh food but mango is not in season now so i'll make do with what i have here is our extracted fruit so i'm going to be adding it into our zobo and you know the taste is heavenly wow 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 our fruity zobo is ready it's not even tasting zobo again you can package it anyhow you like now because of the ice block i added it's ready to drink don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i want to spice it up with strawberry flavor 
you can add any flavor of your choice and you know up to now i did not add sugar to it watch out for another version of this fruity zobo i'm going to show us another way you can make a zobo without using sugar